So according source explorer, I'll just open another company is here. According source explorer generally gives a lot of information related to a particular transaction that you have posted. May it be any transaction. So every transaction will have the unique voucher number, right? So according source explorer generally brings out all the transaction that you have posted in the system, but with little more information or the more details of the transaction. Suppose here in MRF, I am in general ledger under inquiries and reports. If I click on accounting source explorer here. So it, it will bring some data if I click here on main account and if I again select it according to this, I mean segment wise, you know you can select this financial dimension set if you want. So I selected only main account so that the vouchers related to those main accounts will be brought in here. So that's my agenda. So here I can see all the vouchers for the main accounts and different different main accounts, not a single main account for different main accounts. I can see different vouchers posted on different different dates. You can filter it or you can select all of them and extract a extract all these things or and uh, you can bring into an Excel file. Later you can filter it according to your wish. Or you can filter it here itself and then ex export it into an Excel. OK, um, until now we have posted only general general transactions, right? So that is why we see the few details only. Whereas if I run the same in USMF here, we have customer and vendor transactions as well. I'll try to run and show you how different it shows for vendor and customer transactions. So I just clicked here on account resource explorer. I can do the same for main account. Okay. So here, see this one is a invoice voucher, and this one is a purchase voucher. I think so. So here I can see product receipt voucher. I can see the vendor product receipt details. I can see the accounts, debits, and created balances. Then I can see the source document, which is a purchase order. Here I can see it's a purchase order transaction. Then I can also see the party number actually. Party number means the vendor account that we used and the vendor name you can see here. Acme Office Supplies is the vendor name for that. We can see that party name also here. If it is a customer, it customer name is also shows as party number and party name here. Then I can see other further details. If there are, if a product is used, I can see the product number here. Thousand is a product number actually in USMF legal entity. It really is a product category. So, and I can see the number of units used each unit, and I can see the product name here, line text. I can see line document reference number and location site and warehouse number actually. So I can see a lot of details in accounting source explorer. Someone who want who can prepare reports out of the rough data can use this accounting source explorer, select all that data and ex export all the data into an Excel file and then they can prepare whatever reports they want and they can use Power BI or they can use Tableau or X in Excel only they can prepare uh, make tables lookups as as they wish. So every transaction with complete a lot of details will be brought in the accounting accounting source explorer. So the name itself says it's it explores everything or the source information. So again it is a temporary table. If I go back I have to run this accounting source explorer once again to get the data. Okay, the data once we run here will be saved in a temporary table for for some time. If I go back again and if I have to come back to accounting source explorer once again here. Here it is empty again, so data will leave. So I, once I select here drop down and select the same main account again data will be brought into this temporary table in the back end temporary table in the front end. I can view the same data here. Once the data comes into table, it shows up here. So I can see by that document number, which means the invoice number, or I can also filter it by the party name, party number, or the mean the vendor or customer number to see the transactions posted for that particular vendor or customer. So I can literally add more fields if I want to. I can see, I can add more fields. So I'll have this option, personalized grid, and I can add more fields. Use add a field option. Whatever the fields here we have. Other than that, we also have many more fields which we can add it here in the accounting source explorer. That's the 
one advantage of accounting source explorer rather than that there is not uh, there is nothing unique I mean, the only uniqueness is that it brings a lot of information which is useful for someone who can prepare reports easily i mean who can prepare their own reports out of the data that brought in by the system you can also export it from here actually this place so that is with accounting source explorer guys now nothing to confuse only few people or few clients will use accounting source explorer or some people will try to prepare some reports out of it or uh, try to prepare some customization out of the data that comes in accounting source explorer but it is very tough because the data that comes in saves in a temporary table only so it will not stand up for your customization so if you take accounting source explorer as the backup for your customization or background for your customization then it will not work properly because data will come and go from here temporarily so you can't rely your customization upon a temporary table data so most of them does not do customizations also with this data so generally they will export data and make reports however they wish 